So we're rounding the corner on our test and the only tests that we have left are going to be our review controller test, which we are going to be making in this video. So first thing that you want to do is just go down to your controller folder here and make a review controller test class. Then here, what we want to do is just bring in all of the old annotations that we had in our previous controller test class. So we need web MVC test. We're going to have controllers. So we have controllers and the controller that we're going to be bringing in is our review controller. So we're going to say review controller and it's going to be of type class. Okay. Then the next one that we're going to bring in is our auto configure mock MVC. And this is what's going to prevent security from triggering so that we can test everything without having security on it. So we're going to have false. Then what we're going to go down here and do is bring in mock MVC. So we'll say auto wired and below it, we'll have private mock MVC and just like that, go ahead, bring that in. So we'll say alt enter, say alt enter. Then what we want to do is we want to bring in our view surface with the mock bean annotation. So we'll say mock bean, we'll say private review service, review service, simple enough. Go ahead and import those. We're gonna go ahead and import our bean. And then what we want to do is we want to bring in object mapper. So we're gonna say auto wired, and we'll bring in private object mapper. Say object mapper. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to bring in the init um, from our previous class. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into here, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it within our test class, and that will make it so that we don't have to bring in all of these builders and all of these models individually for our testing. The next thing is that we are need we need to choose which one we are going to test first. I'm going to choose the get review by Pokemon ID and we need to mock this one. This actual method test looks a lot similar to a couple of our previous tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to copy the most similar one and bring it over. And the most simple is going to be our Pokemon detail right here. So I'm going to go back and go into the review controller test, go ahead, paste this one in here and just change out this one. So it's gonna be the review controller and it's going to get reviews by Pokemon ID. And it's going to return a review DTO instead of a Pokemon DTO. So say review DTO and the actual, we're not gonna be testing the Pokemon service. We're going to be testing the review service. So go ahead and get rid of that. So bring that over and what we want to return, we want to return a review DTO. So go ahead, put that right there, bring this over here and let's see which one that we need. So we need the get reviews by Pokemon ID and we're going to pass in our Pokemon ID just like that. And our review DTO cannot be returned because it needs to be an array list. So the way that we mock in here is we go arrays dot as list and just go ahead, put in the review DTO just like that. And we are good to go. Next thing that we need to change is we also need to change the API endpoint that which uh, we are going to call. It's gonna be Pokemon, it's going to have this, but it's also going to have the reviews, content type. We're not actually sending anything up, so we can go ahead and get rid of this right here. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to test what we expect. And because this is a list, it's a little bit different, but it's not that difficult. We're just gonna get rid of this right here and all the way to the end expect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the same thing as before, mockingvc result matchers dot json path do here dot size. And then after the size, what we're going to have is the core matchers. So we'll have core matchers is a arrays as list of review DTO with a size. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring, bring this over here. And that is going to check how large the actual list is. And let's go ahead right here, go ahead and run it, see what happens. We hopefully we have the, and we have the green check mark. We can finally move on to our next test. 
Okay, so now we're going to test the update in the review controller. And this one's going to be very similar to a lot of the updates that we did beforehand. So I'm just going to go into the Pokemon controller. I'm going to find this update right here, for the Pokemon controller test. And I'm just going to go back to my review controller and I'm going to copy and paste it into here and just begin swapping out a lot of these keywords. So we're gonna have update review, and this one is going to return a review DTO. So we're gonna have review DTO, that looks good. So first, we're probably going to need a review ID as well too. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add a review ID, switch this one out. So we'll say review service, and it's not gonna be updating Pokemon, it's gonna be updating reviews. So go in here, update the review. It's not gonna be a Pokemon DTO. It's one Pokemon ID, one review ID. So uh, Pokemon ID, review ID, and we're going to pass in a review DTO. And this is going to, in return, return a view DTO. So now we need to change the actual endpoint. So the endpoint's gonna be different on this one. It's still gonna have the Pokemon, but instead of the update, it's going to be reviews. So we'll have reviews and make sure, okay, we do have our put. And also we need to pass in another variable right here. And we're not gonna pass up a Pokemon DTO. We're gonna pass up a review DTO. Down here, this is going to be review DTO. This is going to be a review DTO. Instead of the name and the type, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have title, we're gonna have content, and just gonna go ahead and paste this down one more. So go down here, delete the semicolon. So title, content, and we also have stars. So go ahead over here and we can get rid of get content, stars. Okay, that looks like it should work. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So go ahead, hopefully our test turned green. Our test turned green, we can move on to the next test. So the next controller we're gonna test is going to be the Create controller. And the Create controller, very similar to the Pokemon Create controller test. So what I'm gonna do is just go into the Pokemon controller, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm going to paste this into the uh, Poke or the Review controller test. So first, we're gonna get rid of Review Service, just go through here, start getting rid of, rid of the Pokemons. So I'm gonna go here, review controller, and I'm gonna say create review. And I'm going to say return review DTO because that is the what we want to achieve. Okay, so here we also need a int of Pokemon ID. So we need a Pokemon ID and this one's going to be one. Next, what we are going to need to do is we're going to need to change this to create review and it's already um, a method, so we don't have to worry about anything else. Um, next, what we need to do is we need to pass in a Pokemon ID and we need to pass in a review DTO, and we're gonna change this to a win, and this will then return, so it will, see here, dot, then return a review DTO. So review DTO and what we're going to have to do next is change the actual API endpoint. So it's gonna be Pokemon one, and we're going to have reviews. And we're also going to be sending up a review DTO, not a Pokemon DTO, and need to go down here and actually change this out. So this is created, but we need a title. We need a content matcher. And we also need a stars. So we're gonna go stars, change this to stars. So these all need to be review DTOs. So we're gonna say review DTO, review DTO, review DTO. And now we need to change all these out. So it's gonna be get title, it's going to be get content and it's going to be get stars. And that looks like it should do it. I'm gonna go ahead, click the green button and hopefully we get a green check mark. So fingers crossed and we got our green check mark. We can finally move on to our next test.
So our next test is going to be Git Review by ID. And we already have our Git Reviews by Pokemon ID. So we can just take this one up here, copy and paste it down here, and it will be very similar so we don't have to copy a bunch of stuff. So this one is just going to be get a single review, not get multiple reviews. So in that sense, it's going to be a lot easier. And this one is going to be different in a couple areas. So we're gonna, we're gonna need a review ID for, for this one and just go ahead, put a one in here and we need to get the review by ID. So we're gonna go here, get review by ID. And we're not gonna be passing in a Pokemon ID. We're gonna be passing in a regular review ID. And this one, we also need the Pokemon ID. So we need Pokemon ID two. Shouldn't matter which order that they're in. So review ID, Pokemon ID. Then we're gonna go over here and we're going to return a review DTO. So we also need to change the endpoint. So it's going to be reviews and we're also going to pass in a one right here. It's gonna be a git so we don't have to change this. And we also don't need this content right here. So we can go ahead and get rid of this, get rid of the extra parens. Next thing is that this is going to be very similar to the is created up here. So what we can do is just go ahead and get rid of this since we're not returning a list, we're just returning a single Pokemon DTO. So that should be pretty much it. Let's go ahead, run it, see, hopefully we get a green check mark. Let's see here. And we've got our green check mark. We can finally move on to our last and easiest method test, the delete. So delete review is going to be very similar to the actual uh, test that we have up above it. So I'm just gonna go back down here, going to uh, copy that down and we will go ahead and start switching all of this out. So we'll say delete review. And this is going to return okay, because it's not going to return anything because we're deleting. And instead of having this right here, we're going to have to have a special mock for void methods and that's going to involve what we we've you've probably seen this before it's called do nothing and we're going to go ahead and pass in our review service and we are going to delete the review by passing in the pokemon id and the review id and that will simulate a void method for us next thing is that this api endpoint actually looks good right here except that the only thing that we need to do is we need to delete. So we need to uh, call the delete and yep, yeah, that, uh, that endpoint looks good. Okay, so last thing is that we don't need any of this because we're not actually returning anything. The only thing that we want to check to make sure is that we're returning an okay. So gonna go ahead, run this, see if we get the green. Hopefully we do. And we've got our green check mark. We have completed all of our unit tests. What a journey this has been. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.